I just left Starbucks. I was in that Starbucks right there. And I decided to go in and charge my power station because doing it uh, on the cigarette lighter was gonna take eight hours. Now, if I'm doing like a long trip, like I normally am, my power station would either be charged by the time I get somewhere or almost charged. But I'm not going anywhere today and so I'm not gonna wait eight hours and drive around or keep my car running for eight hours. So <clears throat> here it is, 100% charged. So it went from eight hours to being charged and it was like 31% when I went inside of Starbucks to being, once I plugged it in, it took about 30 minutes to charge it from 30% to 100%. And I've got about 67 hours, so it's fully charged. And for that, for those of you who don't know, and I know I said it, but this is the Eco Flow Delta II. For some reason I thought this was a thousand watt power station a little over a thousand watt this is 2700 watts much more than a thousand watts right okay now I'm gonna go to the grocery store buy some ice buy dinner for tonight and then head to Planet Fitness take a shower and then go stealth camp for the night so let's get out of here <sighs> it's been a very productive day very productive let's roll Go. After 24 hours, I gotta dump that. That's ice and water. Okay, let's do it.
Can you guess where I'll be stealth camping tonight? <laughs> no, you can't, but that's okay. I'm gonna get out and show you guys. I am gonna be stealth camping tonight in this big, beautiful, well-lit parking garage. I mean, this is freaking awesome. We'll see if we can uh, make it through the night undetected. This parking garage is heavily secured. Secured. This parking garage is heavily patrolled by security and there's people coming in and out, but I'm gonna show you. It doesn't matter where you sleep. As long as you're in a stealth vehicle, no one's going to know and no one's going to pay you no attention to what you're doing or even what your vehicle, what's going on in your vehicle. Because everybody else is too busy worried about living their life to be worrying about your small car, your van, your SUV, your small van, not no RV. So let's take a look around at uh, where I'll be sleeping tonight. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, I am backed in to a wall that's for my protection so that no one can attempt to break in through the back. So I backed all the way in as close as possible, but this is where I'm at. This big, beautiful parking garage where nobody is literally thinking about me and what I'm doing. It's well lit, it's safe, and uh, this makes a good tornado or bad weather shelter. There's cars driving through, you know, people changing the tire. Um, this is my SUV, look. No one is thinking about me. And notice how I back in, so if I have to quickly leave, I can just jump in and leave. But yeah, this is where I'm at. No one's thinking about me. Okay. I do have the lights on, but you notice I have a pillow behind me blocking the window because this light peeks through this small window. If you are up on the vehicle you can see the actual ceiling part but not the light that spews out so i've got it blocked i got a pillow blocking that and then i've got a pillow partially blocking this side just in case um there is a vehicle next to me they pulled in about 30 minutes ago and never came out they just backed in next to me and then clicked their lock button so they're inside i don't know if they live in their vehicle or not but um yeah, we're all just here. So I'm just gonna make a one pot de one pot meal. I'm gonna use basmati rice. And so I'm just gonna move this out of the way really quick and uh, put this back in here. Here's my spray bottle. Water, distilled white vinegar. Okay, let's put this back. Add a cup of water. I am the master of rice. I used to make rice all the time when I was I lived in a house. So this is how I did it: one cup to one cup ratio, and it worked for me. Um, I never add any more than that. I'm just gonna make. Um, veggie veggie rice tonight um i was gonna cut up some some turkey sausage and throw it in there but i just um uh, i haven't feel like one i had not feel like wanting to do it this is coconut aminos for the first time i'm trying coconut aminos i'm just gonna do a couple of these teas oh it doesn't come out very well so we'll just do a little bit in here like that Put that aside and then we just got some veggies and I'm gonna just pour the juice in this Ziploc bag because I do have a trash bag up front. We're just gonna do um, This is carrots This is corn I'm just gonna put it on Put this up here. Let's move this aside. There we go. Cutting board, I have it on a nice cutting board. Let's get our seasonings, shall we? Where are this? I bought us some seasonings here. Here it is. Cutting board back.
Okay. We're going to use, what are we going to use in here? We're going to use some, um, let's do garlic salt. Let's do black pepper. And let's do paprika. Ooh, that smells delicious. Okay. And then I've got this spicy chili crisp. We're going to put some of that in there. Let's put a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, this is spicy. We're just going to throw a little bit in here. Just that much. Maybe a little bit more. Not too much. There we go. It's 100%. It's turned on. Now let's turn this on. Uh, crap. I have to turn it on from behind. Let's just flip this over really quick. Hit this button right here. There we go. There we go. Let's, let's fix that back. There we go. You can hear it's on. We got the vents cleared. Nothing blocking the vents. I can feel the air coming out. Nothing blocking it. So we're just going to move this a little bit closer over here so that we can make sure that's ventilated properly. And it is. And now you see this is on and now it's cooking. I'm going to give this about 20 minutes and then uh, everything should be nice and cooked. So um, yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff away and clean up this little mess right here. And then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to get comfortable. So I'll be right back once everything is cleaned up and uh, I'm comfortable. If you look outside, you know, we're still good. Still incognito. Also, I forgot to show you, this crock pot is pulling 272 watts, which is nothing. Um, that is amazing. So this is not pulling a lot of wattage, which is good. Okay, it just propped to warm, so let's take a look and see what it's looking like inside. Ooh, wee! Oh yeah, that looks wonderful. I bought this from REI with my member points. I still have a little sticker on the back, but I took the one off the front. You see the little trees? It's so cute. So I'm going to use this to eat off of tonight. I was going to just... Uh, eat out of uh, the pan, but I'm like, ah, eh, I want to try my new stainless steel lightweight dish that I bought. And I used to eat with my member points. I had like $92 worth of uh, money on my account from just stuff I've bought over REI. I couldn't believe it. They said I have a year to use it. So I was like, let me buy this. There's dinner. I mean, it looks delicious. I wish I had some meat. I mean, I have meat, but I didn't feel like adding it. It's been a long day, and uh, I just wanted to eat. So this will do for, for now, but next time it's going to be amazing. I'll definitely have leftovers for tomorrow because I'm not going to eat all this rice. This is a, a cup of rice. I'll do that much. There is so much I can add to this. Tofu, like I said, the the meat that I bought, the sausage and stuff, but next time I will. First bite goes to you, have that bite right there. Okay, my turn. 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's spicy. A chili oil. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's spicy. Woo. So the guy that was parked next to me, I'm assuming he lives in his car. He opened his door, put his shoes on, got up, stood next to his car, by the trunk, relieved himself on the ground. I was like, this is too much. Then he walked off that way. This is delicious. Mm. Tomorrow I'll get my window covers. I'm so happy. And now that I got my power station, I think I'm going to get a bigger, <clears throat> a bigger fan. Or, <clears throat> ooh, <clears throat> ooh, I got the old throat. Sorry about that. I won't get a bigger fan. I'll probably just get another one of these small ones. Mm. But I can't wait to get my window covers tomorrow. It's going to be a game changer. When I cook, I'll probably just crack my sunroof a lot more because ain't nobody going to notice that it's cracked. I'll probably crack it that much as opposed to this much. And I'll crack this window back a little bit more to keep the airflow going. This is spicy and I love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So tomorrow, I'll take you guys with me to go get the window covers. We'll put them on and see what they look like. Hopefully they're good. A lot of you guys gave them good reviews in the comment section of my previous video and I did some research and they got good reviews online so mm. this is so much better than eating out I got tired and sick and tired of eating out mm, mm -mm. Mm. All right, fam, I am all good. Teeth brush, face washed as good as I could. Get it uh, being in the SUV, and I'm about to get into my nightwear, which is just changing my shirt into a tank top, and I'm about to go to bed. So, we are still here. And um, my neighbor, he lives, definitely lives in his car. He came back, he's in there asleep, or doing whatever he's doing, but he's in there been in there for a while so I do have a neighbor tonight which is fine look we're all just trying to make it out in this world and uh, yeah uh, there are more people than you realize that live inside of their vehicles their cars but anyways I will see you in the morning hopefully I make it out unscathed uh, security has been driving around which makes me feel really safe but yeah see you guys in the morning good morning it's almost six o'clock and I made it unscathed, unbothered, and I still have the same neighbor dude. So the parking lot or the parking lot, the parking garage is fairly empty. There are a few cars still here, but I want to leave before everybody starts moving around. I'm going to head to Planet Fitness, get me a little workout in, get a shower. <sighs> oh man, I, I'm so comfortable, I don't want to move. I'm going to go in, do a quick workout, shower, continue to uh, air out. I've got my sunroof open, I'm going to close it when I go into the gym, but I had the sunroof open and I had all the windows open uh, to air out my uh, SUV because I don't want it smelling like food. Uh, I do not. So I'm going to be driving with the the sunroof open today and uh, some windows just to air it out. And then hopefully by the time I'm done with everything, airing everything out, fixing and tidying everything up. It's pretty much tidy, but, you know, it could be a little more tidier. I'm going to go see, go to UPS store and see if my WeatherTech uh, window covers are in because that's going to be a game changer. Once I get my window covers, you can't tell me nothing. <sighs> 
this is the longest I've ever went without window covers. Like, I do not feel comfortable in not having window covers. Even though my windows are tinted, and even if I never turn on the lights in here, I still feel uncomfortable because people can still put their face against the glass and look in if they want. So, I'm so, so happy that my window covers come today. All right, uh, I guess I'll see you guys uh, whenever I get my window covers and uh, we put them on and try them out and see what they're looking like. Right now we are on our way to the UPS store. When I say we, me and you. Uh, my WeatherTech window covers just came in. I'm super stoked and excited to see how they're gonna look and if they fit and all that good stuff. So we're on our way to pick it up now. And uh, now the real fun begins, now that I officially have window covers. Ah, oh, I can rest and breathe easy. Whew. A lot of you ask me, how do you get your mail when you travel across the country? The UPS store, that's how you get it. You don't need a mailbox to get your mail delivered from the UPS store. You just need to go in there and let them know, hey, I wanna send a package to your store. What do I have to put um, next to my name for you guys to hold it? They'll tell you what to put and then they'll charge you a fee once you come to pick up your package. For example, at this UPS store that I'm going to, they told me next to my name when I place the order and I put my name next to my name, put hold for pickup. So when they get the package, they see my name, first and last name, and next to my last name, it shows hold for pickup. They know that I'm coming to pick it up. Uh, another UPS store I used in Vegas, they told me to put next to my name, guest. So when the package came to them, they saw my name, and the next to my last name, it said guest. They know that I'm coming to pick up the package, and I'll be paying a fee for it. So that is how you would get your mail if you're a nomad in the United States and you travel across country and you want to order packages or you want your family members to send you something. Just go to your nearest UPS store and um, give the address to your family members and tell them what to put on it according to whatever UPS uh, says to do. So hopefully that helps. But now we got a package to go pick up. Sorry, I'm using my phone, fam. I'm charging my camera, but UPS store, boom. All right, let's go get these uh, WeatherTech uh, window covers. I'm super, super happy. We got it. WeatherTech. Why such a big box, UPS, like, or WeatherTech? I mean, I feel like you sent me something for a truck. Why, what's with the big box? Weather tech. This thing is huge. <sighs> Good thing I know where a dumpster is. Uh, see what these uh, shades are looking like. Wow, that's massive. Is this? Wait a minute. Wow. This is incredible. I finally figured it out. I was about to have a, a mini meltdown. Man, these fit nicely. Wow. I still got those to put on, so let's put the rest on to make sure everything fits before I give it the seal of approval. Man, it fits, it almost fits like a glove. I mean, this one doesn't. It's still got a little movement, but it, it, it does, a, does better than the other one, so yeah. If I'm being honest, what I paid for it, it's really not worth it. Uh, some of them fit like a glove and some of them don't. Uh, some of them is really hard to uh, stay in. For example, um, this these these little little windows right here they they this one doesn't even really really stay in I mean it's they don't fit like a glove I mean I can't even get that one to stay in 
so I'm gonna have to figure that out but some of them are barely hanging on by a thread look at that one in the back I mean it does the job but it's 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 hanging on by a thread so I mean they, they it is what it is so my final take on weather tech they're okay um, they might have rushed my order they may have half did my order because some of the covers fit really snug and some of them just fall off and don't fit at all I will make it work I, I'll probably get some black tape make it a little thicker so it can kind of tuck in a, a better I'm a little bit disappointed that they did not send me a cover for the window cover seeing how I bought the full kit you would think the wind the actual covers like the actual case will come with it, but I guess you gotta purchase that separate. I'm a little disappointed in that. Other than that, I, I am still really happy with my purchase. I just gotta do a little bit of tweaks here and there. Thank you family again for recommending WeatherTech. I am going to make it work. It is definitely better than what I had, which was essentially nothing. So while I prepare my SUV, uh, for my big uh, trip to Canada, Alaska, the Arctic Circle, I still have a few more things I need to get done with it. Uh, not too much more i will be doing little side adventures and things like that so i do have a really epic adventure coming up i'm super stoked and happy about it so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing and and um that's what i'll be doing coming up and uh in addition to the little side adventures uh until i leave for canada but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here thank you so much for tagging along hanging out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Ugh, everything's coming along I'm very pleased with the progress, but I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace. For those of you who stuck around to the end of the video, I have a weather tech update. I was a bit frustrated at first because I felt like I was rushing to put everything on. But now that I'm in the desert and I'm taking my time, I took my time to put it on. I actually like the weather tech. Now, some of them I can't use on the black side and some of them I can't use on the silver side so it's mix and match sides but it works so there is the black side silver side black side I mean it's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was and I have complete stealth I'm about to make me some dinner and uh, this is the front I've got my uh, just this open but let's close it look how dark it gets in here what what but anyways, that's the black side, that's the silver side, or black side, black side. So as you can tell, um, some sides I can use um, the black side and some the silver. Gosh, my hair is getting so thick. I'm going to grow this hair out until the end of the year and see how thick how thick it gets but anyways um as you can see it's working like it's a whole vibe i'm feeling it check this out like it's so dark in here and it's like my own little cave and my own little cove ah look at this isn't this cool like i'm just chilling man just laying here about to cook dinner i'm gonna open up my sunroof so that i can air you know keep the moisture but yeah all right i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i just want to give you guys an update so for those of you who always stick around to the end it was worth it today wasn't it